I've been wanting to come down here for a taco tour for a minute and we're finally here. First spot is Tacos Fitos. Amazing spot, heard so many good things about them. They're open from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. So it's, it's like early morning brunch spot type. But the taqueros, all the dudes working here, talented, they got it down. They're like throwing the consomme up in the air, catching it in the taco. Dope experience, it's like a show while you order your tacos. We got one pure birria con todo, with everything. And then birria and tripa mixed con todo as well. And then they had like a whole side station of grilled peppers, habaneros, serranos, jalapenos, pickled onions, lime. They got everything here. All right, let's dig in. Birria de res, which is beef birria. Throw some lime on there. Oh, that looks fire. There's some salsa and onions already on there, so yeah. This looks good. And you know in birria, they usually dip the tortilla in the consomme, fry it up so it's like crispier. First bite of the day, cheers. Mmm, the meat has so much flavor and the tortilla. Salsa is not too spicy. They actually fried up the tortilla pretty good, so it's like really crispy. Mm. Cool. Yeah, the jalapeno is flavorful, but spicy. Good with the birria, though. Mmm. It's gonna be a great day out here in TJ. I got mm, spots I've been wanting to try for so long. I made sure to pick up a diverse selection of taquerias, try different styles of tacos from different parts of Mexico. So happy to start here at the Birria spot. So many people have came here and told me about it. Amazing, just off that first taco, but let's try the next one. I already know this one's gonna be good. Beef intestines with Birria. Let's get this bite. Tripa with Birria. Mmm, crispy tripa, the way I like it. It's like chicharron with that intestine flavor. It's so good. It's hidden for breakfast right now. Wow, that's fire. This is crazy. I've never had this mixture, the tripa with the birria. i definitely get it again. That's so good. Mmm, mmm. Taco culture here in Mexico, so sick. You eat tacos any time of the day. There's always going to be a spot open and different type of tacos. Like I said, I picked so many different types of taquerias so we could try a diverse amount of tacos. But wow, this tripa birria taco to start the day, crazy amount of flavor. Great way to start the day out here at Tacos Fitos. Amazing spot. Definitely worth coming down to TJ for already. This is, and this is the first spot. But we're going to keep our tour moving. I'll catch you guys in the next spot. Directly across the street from the BDS spot we just ate is a big outdoor market. It looks super colorful, let's check it out. Hopefully we can get some candy or some snacks. About to get some candy. They got crazy snacks in here. This is like gold mine for Mexican candy and, and chips and they got everything snack wise. Rows on rows. They got everything, even piñatas. It's for real like a wholesale Costco for candy and chips. I gotta get these. Come on, have to get these. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Insane amount of candy spots, snack spots, like endless. How much are the paletas? Uh, 35 40. 40. Leche y water. They got a huge freezer full of different paletas, over like 50 flavors. Strawberry milk, paleta. Let's go. It's gonna be a good day. This spot I'm so hyped for. It's supposed to be one of the best spots for adobada. One of my favorite tacos. You saw the huge trompo out front. It's like El Pastor in Mexico City, but here in TJ, they call it adobada. They make it super marinated, red, juicy, crispy. TJ's tacos are loaded con todo with everything. Let's take this first bite here at Tacos Gallito. Can't wait to try it. Let's go. Mmm. The pork is so marinated and packed with spices. Little sweetness, tortillas are a little crunchy, and the crunch from the onions adds so much. This is like everything you'd want in a taco. Texture-wise, flavor-wise, it's hitting all my taste buds. It's amazing. Mmm.
This is good. A little sweet, so soft. Man, great with those tacos. Mmm. Mmm. That's intense. So much flavor. You give me that taco with the blindfold, I could taste everything in there. Everything works so well together. It's insane. Definitely one of the best other bottles I ever had. That's crazy. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by that first taco. Let's move on to these. These are definitely looking amazing as well. We got tripa. It looks so good. Boiling in that, I think it was pork fat. Looks so good. And I got a con todo with everything. Salsa, onion, and then the other taco on this plate is cabeza. Steaming under that blanket. You saw him lift up the blanket, pull out all that cabeza meat. Crazy texture in this taco. Oh, but let's try this first. Uh, horchata de coco. I love horchata with my tacos. It always hits. Oh, that smells good. Ooh. Ooh, that's fire. That tastes like... It's actually not as sweet as regular horchata. Regular horchata usually is on the sweeter side, but this one's not too sweet. It tastes more like coconut. Very refreshing with, that, with the tacos. That's fire. All right, let's dig in. I'm gonna have to go with tripa. This is looking too good. You could see all that intestine in here, that beef intestine. A little crispified, soft as well. All that salsa on top, some onion, cilantro. You know you gotta put as much stuff on your Tijuana tacos. Always adds so much flavor. Mmm. You taste the pork flavor from what it's boiling in the pork fat. Amazing. And it's actually not too crispy. I usually order my tripas really crispy, but it's super soft. And basically soaked up all that pork fat. Insane. Mmm. I'm in awe. TJ's different. They got, I'm pretty sure, some of the best tacos in the world, for sure. That's fire. Mm. Crazy good. So far, my experience here in TJ, dope. I'm so happy to be here. I've been wanting to make this trip happen for a minute. It's been so long, and I'm happy to be here. But this last taco here is a cabeza, steamed cabeza. Look how soft it looks. It's like so jiggly. Mmm, amazing. It like melts in your mouth. And then the salt hits with the salsa, crunchy onions, and that sweet grilled onion. Different. I just love eating tacos because every taco, every meat, different experience. Especially here in TJ. They changed the toppings a little bit. Even though I ordered all tacos con todo, only the asada and adobada come with the, the avocado cream sauce on top. And then the other ones don't, just like either red or green salsa, and they choose which one. It's amazing. They got it down here. Gracias. Gracias. So friendly here too, man. Hooking it up. I just love eating tacos in Mexico because whole different experience. You see this spot's not really, it is kind of like a stand because they make all the food outside, but you could come inside right here and eat. They got pictures of the food. Big fridge with all the drinks. You don't know how bad I want to go order more. Well, we gotta pace ourselves because we're going to some other fire spots. I'm definitely coming back here. This is legit. This is a great day. Just chilling, eating tacos here in TJ. I'm having a good time, but let's keep this tour moving. I'll catch you guys in the next spot. Suadero, which is like brisket taco spots here in Tijuana. And I could not be more excited to eat this. You saw the huge cauldron with the tripa, suadero, and the pork fat. Right when he pulled up, he was braising the brisket in that pork fat. We got two tacos right here, water and some sides. Let's dig in. Mmm, insane flavor. Suadero has the crispy burnt ends. It's like crispy, fatty, tender, and then the salsa on top is super spicy, so it like contrasts all that saltiness, fattiness. This taco is on the crunchy side, which I love. 
Mm. Insane amount of flavor. Wow. This is another spot I've been wanting to try for so long. Finally here. It's hitting. Wow. Oh, I got some habanero pickled onions. Let's try it. Mmm. Ooh. Spicy. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. The, the salsa he put on top of these tacos, hella spicy. And then with the habanero onions, it's turning up. It's turning up. There's so much flavor in these tacos. It's so potent with saltiness and, you know, it's very savory. It couldn't be better. All right, the next taco, I'm super hyped for. Tripa. This is, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is one of my favorite meats to get in a taco. Best experience, flavor-wise, texture-wise. He cooked it the same way as the suadero. Made it crispy in the middle of the grill, then threw it back in the fat, soak up all the juices. Got it con todo, same, same thing. Onions, salsa, cilantro. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Mmm, amazing. There is so much flavor in that tripa. It's not as crispy as I thought it was gonna be, but the flavor of that fat in the cauldron absorbed into the middle of that intestine. I'm in awe. Suadero tacos and tripa might be one of my, I mean, I say that about every meat. It's like one of my favorites, but for real, these two have the most flavor, texture. It's different for sure. Let's go. Mm. Amazing experience. This is another spot in here, here in Tijuana that I totally recommend. Tacos Barney. Legit Suadero and Tripa. Definitely come through and check them out. The little homie's been chilling right next to me on my left side. Let's hook him up with a little Tripa. <laughs> He's loving that. This spot is for sure a legit spot. I definitely recommend. Amazing Suadero, Tripa. And the staff is super friendly. You guys definitely need to come through. Say what's up, check them out. We gotta keep our tour moving. On to the next spot. I'll do one of each, picanha, arachera, and the bone marrow. And then can I have it with the flour tortilla? Gracias. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Picanha. Picanha? Yeah. That's the favorite, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what time do you guys close? 11 oh, 11, okay, cool. Yeah, we're doing a taco tour today. Yeah, and we're finishing it here. All right. Last spot. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Gracias. Wow. <laughs> Looks so good. What salsa do you recommend for the picanha? Any? Because I want to taste the raw flavor, you know, like. It's not a little flavor. This one right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it not, not too spicy? Yeah, I like spicy. spicy though. Not so spicy. Oh, not that spicy? Okay. All right. I'll try all of them. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. I take a look before I devour this plate. I've heard from many people this is some of the best tacos in the world. Not just Mexico, not just LA, like this is supposed to be the spot. They serve up Sonoran style tacos on the flour tortilla. Everything I got here is beef, picanha, super rare meat in a taco. And they got arachera, the darker meat, and then in the middle, bone marrow. Let's dig in. Oh, cheers, bro. What'd you get, corn tortilla? Yeah. Oh, what is that, cheese? But no, this is, yeah, cheese, this is onions. Okay. But with secret sauce. Oh, okay, for sure. Let me get. Let me actually get some onions though. The onions. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Let's go. First bite of picanha. We're here at Tacos El Vaquero. Cheers. Mm. Wow. So fatty, tender, salted to perfection. Melts in your mouth. Some of the softest beef in a taco I've ever had. With the crunchy onions, and I put some serrano salsa. Crazy combo. That's insane. 
That's fire. I for real think this is one of the best tacos I ever had. It's different, a little bigger, and the flour tortilla is heavier, which is nice because a lot of the tacos I've been having today, dinner tortilla, like just quick bites, but these are thick, heavy, and hearty. Crazy good. Wow. All right, next one. Check that out. This one, the tortilla is a little crispier. That's arachera. It's dripping juice. Mmm. That is so good. This tastes like a gourmet taco versus a street taco. Like, melts in your mouth as well. Quality is insane. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I'm in awe right now. Crazy way to end this tour today. Wow, some of the best tacos I ever had, for sure. All right, let's move on to the third one. I don't know if you could see it, but this is the bone marrow. The texture experience is always crazy. Mmm, so rich. It's like beef butter fat, straight melted butter inside a taco. Those onions are really good sweet on the sweeter side, not too spicy. You could see that texture. Look at how jiggly and buttery it is. It's literally like beef stick of butter. Mm. I keep shaking my head because I don't, can't comprehend how good this is. What a way to end the night here. Amazing day full of tacos. There's not a spot I would want to go back to. All the places I picked today are, were supposed to be like different styles, different types, diverse tacos. So many great spots. You guys definitely need to make the trip. Thank you guys for watching In The Cut. We out.